Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be talking about one of the most amazing cities which is also happened to be the biggest cities of Canada. Where 60% immigrants prefer to live, where jobs are plentiful, people are nice, the city also ranked in one of the best cities to live in the world. Yes, I'm talking about Toronto, so let's get started. The current population is 2.93 million. The multicultural population of the GTA is expected to reach 9 million people by 2036. Total land area is 7,124 square kilometer. So it is really a big city. The coldest temperature ever recorded in Toronto was minus 31.3 degree. The wind chill on that day was minus 44.7. Toronto welcomes over 40 million visitors annually with an overall visitor spending of 7.2 billion during this visit. So the total spending was 7.2 billion dollar which is a significant income source of Canada. Toronto is home to 8100 restaurants and bars representing 6.5% of all the business in the city. Little Italy, Little Portugal, Little Chinatown have dual language street signs written in both English and a language other than French. Toronto is 76.5 meters above the sea level with the highest point being the intersection of Steels and Keel at 209 meters. There are over 10 million trees in Toronto alone. So there are lots of lots of lots of trees in Toronto which make the city beautiful. Toronto has a total of 9520 streets. Toronto's Pearson International Airport is the busiest airport in Canada in 2015 41 million travelers passed through this airport the Toronto Jew is the largest Jew in Canada and the third largest in the world housing 16,000 animals of 491 different species over 180 language and dialects are spoken in the city, so you can understand how diverse the city is. Toronto's Casa Loma is the only true authentic castle in North America. Almost 25% of Canada's population lives within a 160 kilometer radius of Toronto, so you can understand most of the people live close to Toronto. That's why Toronto is one of the most populated city. The top five visible minority groups in Toronto are South Asian, 12% of the population, Chinese, 11.4%, Black community is 8.4%, Filipino is 4.1%, and Latin America is 2.6%. Toronto's major contributions to technology include advancement in satellite communication, digital microwave transmission, and data distribution network. Dundas Street is actually the product of multiple smaller streets being joined together. Young Street is the longest street in the world. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, it is 1896 km long. There are over 23,700 artists in Toronto, which is almost twice as many artists as any other Canadian city. The Rogers Centre is the first stadium in the world to have a fully retractable roof. Around 200,000 people pass through Union Station on a standard business day. 
So Union Station is a metro station where um, underground trains passes through. The Toronto Stock Exchange, TSX, is the seventh largest in the entire world based on the market capitalization. Toronto has the second largest public transit system in North America. Toronto covers an area of 641 square kilometers stretching 43 kilometers from east to west and 21 kilometers from north to south. The film industry in Toronto employs 28,000 jobs and brings an approximately 1.5 billion each year. Around 25% of Hollywood movies are actually filmed in Toronto. Toronto is the third largest city for English theater, being just behind New York and London. Over 50% of Toronto's workforce processes university degree or college diploma. Approximately half of Toronto's population was born outside of Canada. There are over 35,000 hotel rooms in Toronto. The CN Tower, 1,815 feet tall, was the tallest freestanding structure in the world up to 2007. There are around 160 completed skyscrapers in Toronto and 112 more are being constructed. 56.7% of Torontonians are Christian, making Christianity the largest faith group in the city. The Toronto Island is the largest urban car-free community in North America. Toronto's shoreline stretches 43 kilometers long. Toronto has a world-class food scene. St. Lawrence Market was even ranked the best food market in the world by National Geographic. Toronto embraces the cultural diversity. In fact, BBC Radio named the most multicultural city in the world over London. Toronto has one of the lowest crime rates in all of North America and was appropriately ranked among the top safest city in Canada. Toronto is well-rounded, including healthcare and education. It was ranked among the top 10 most livable cities in the world. Toronto's universities are world-renowned. University of Toronto, McMaster, and Western are even included in the 200 universities in the world. Toronto never sleeps. There's always something new to do in the city, and there's never a dull moment. Toronto is a front-runner when it comes to advances in technology and is considered among the top 10 tech hubs in live and work in. Toronto really knows coffee. Whether you are overworked or simply a bean fan, Toronto got exactly what you need. Toronto has been given best country in the world on several occasions. In 2016, it only came second, but that's still a great rank. Toronto is the fifth largest city in North America. Larger cities include Mexico City, New York City, Los Angeles, and Chicago. The city of Toronto started off as York, the capital of Upper Canada, in 1793. York was renamed Toronto in 1834. Toronto is the world's fourth most livable city. The highest temperature ever recorded were 41 degrees Celsius from July 7 to 9 in 1936. Toronto had to deal with two major snowstorms to wake apart in January 1999. The first dumped 40 centimeters and the second dumped 118 centimeters which is 46.5 inches. Toronto ranks second as the world's most business competitive global city. PATH is the largest underground pedestrian system in North America, connects 1,200 stores and restaurants, 50 office towers, 20 parking garages, 5 subway stations, and a railway terminal over its 28 kilometers length. Each letter in path is a different color representing a different direction. P is red and points south, A is orange and points west, T is blue and directs north, H is yellow and point 
East. There are 52 outdoor skating rinks in Toronto, open from the beginning of December until the end of February. Nathan Phillips Square is named for the mayor of Toronto from 1955 to 1962. Toronto City Hall is located at the square. The square is used for concerts, art, displays, the winter festival and lights. There are over 200 public artworks and historic monuments that are owned by the city. The City of Toronto government is the sixth largest in all of Canada. The 2012 operating budget for the City of Toronto was $9.4 billion. There are approximately 50,000 employees working for the City of Toronto government including those that are work in agency, boards or commissions. There are over 1.6 million trips every day in the TTC which is Toronto Transit Commission which includes subways, buses, and street courts. Toronto Transit System is the second largest in North America and has the highest per capita ride share ship. All right, that's all about Toronto. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any concerns or questions, you can comment down below. Till the next video, goodbye.